The Rio Grande Valley has had a lot of incredible women shaping history. But among that group, you have an even smaller gathering who have forever impacted the future and past of our region. Cameron County Historical Commissioner Jean Fernandez explains in this week's Throwback Thursday. Brenda, I'm here at Rancho Viejo in a typical what you'd call Mother's Day buffet setting. I, if I could have my way, I would have Mother's Day every day of the year. I'm just that kind of fellow. Now we're going to hit upon, imagine if you will, a banquet with the great magnanimous mothers of South Texas at one sitting. South Texas was blessed with a plethora of wonderful, strong, dynamic women. Throughout history, there is so much to be said about what they gave that contributed to the building of South Texas. We're going to start with Maria Rosa Hinojosa de Bahia. That woman was absolutely the cattle queen, the first cattle queen of the area. She came to South Texas in 1790 with her husband. They applied for a land grant that was the La Feria land grant, 55,000 acres. Now, he died before that land grant was given. So she inherited that, but that's where she started. If you can imagine, 55,000 acres. Beyond that, she was involved with the acquisition of the Las Mistenas land grant, Ojo de Agua land grant, and about four other ones. She began with 55,000 acres, right? When she died, only 13 years later, she had about a million acres. The second dynamic lady was Petra Vela Vidal Kennedy. Petra Vela was the daughter of the regional governor of Nuevo Santander for this part. So she came from aristocratic roots. She married a Captain Vidal over in Mier, in that part, and then Captain Vidal actually died very, very shortly afterward. Then she migrated into the Reynosa, Brownsville area. She married Mifflin Kennedy directly uh, after the foundation of Brownsville. And then that's where that Kennedy ranch came into the picture. Now, Petra Kennedy was not known as much for the land management as she was for the production. Her offspring from the marriage with Captain Vidal are definitely noteworthy. One of her daughters, Louisa, married Captain Robert Dalzell, steamboat captain. The other daughter, Maria Vicenta Stark, married Frederick Stark. He was the adjutant for Fort Brown at the time. Now, their daughter on that marriage, Lily, married Frank Rabb. So you see how all the dynamics of this works into the picture. Petra Kennedy was a beloved figure. Mifflin Kennedy absolutely adored her. And she was very, very influential in the building of that empire that he built. Speaking of empires and ranching empires in particular, Mifflin Kennedy's partner was Captain Richard King. Now, his wife, Henrietta Chamberlain King, was an extremely strong woman. When Captain King died in 1885, she inherited about a half million acres. Now, that was a start, if you can imagine. From that point onwards, she took that ranch. Mind you, the half million acres was in debt at the time. And by the time of her death, she had built a, over a million acres. And she'd given so much back to society. That's another angle of these wonderfully dynamic women, is that they gave back to society. She was the original founder of Texas A&I College in Kingsville, and a whole host of other very beneficial legacies. Those magnanimous women that I have just spoken of are, sadly enough, not here any longer, but there is one that still prevails, and that is the dear Mary Uturia. To go through the list, the litany of what she gave back to the community would exhaust you. She worked behind the scenes from the very start when she came to South Texas to be on particular boards, to back legislation, to form programs. She never slept in her effort to give back to the community. You see, that is the spirit of motherhood, but it goes further than that. It gives not only to their immediate family, but it gives to their communal family, all of South Texas. And can you imagine what South Texas would look like today if it had not been for the effort of these wonderfully beautiful women? And the rest is history. For KVEO News, I'm Eugene Fernandez.